Hey everyone! I am super excited to be back in my studio after my May hiatus. Um, <laughs> you might be wondering why it took me so long to put out a video. I needed to take the month of May off. But again, I'm super excited to be here and today what I really want to show you guys, um, even though I haven't really been doing in my studio much, I've got a sketch that I've totally fallen in love with and I'm really excited to paint. Um, I have it right here on my sketchbook. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, so this, um, I've had it sketched out for a while. I just haven't had the time to do anything about it. So what I want to show you guys today is how to transfer the exact drawing, your exact sketch, onto your painting surface um, in a completely resized dimension. So what I've done is I've taken a picture of this just with my phone and then I stuck it into Photoshop and I'll show you what I do in Photoshop and then we're going to print it and go from there. Alright guys, so now we're in Photoshop and I'm sure you could use another Photoshop-like program to do the exact same thing. But what I've done is, all I've done is take a picture of my sketch here. And it is really important that you make sure your lines in your sketch are dark enough that they'll show up. Um, so here, I've really darkened my, especially the outlines of things. Not necessarily the shading, just the outlines in um, 6B, very dark uh, lead. So what I want to do now, is I'm just going to select this whole thing, copy it move over to my new workspace and I've got this done to the exact dimensions of my canvas which is 11 by 14. So then I'm going to paste the image here and then resize it and I'm going to resize it with Control T which is transform and as I drag on these arrows and make it bigger I'm holding down the shift key so that it maintains the exact same proportion and I like this for this is great because you can see your composition and how it fits so you can kind of play around with the fit of it and get it to a point where you're happy and what we want to do and this is just um, for me I want to conserve as much of my ink as possible so I do not want all of this gray tones here. So if you look at what pure white looks like versus the color of the image in the paper uh, of the paper in the image, it is very gray. So what I want to do now is I really just want the outline, which is why I've darkened it. So I'm going to go to select and then color range. And from here I'm going to pick a color that I think will pull out just the outline, the darker portion. Alright, I don't know. A lot of this is going to be experimentation, like did I pick the right thing. So I'm going to do that, make it a little bit more. Okay. Alright, so it looks like the majority of the outline has been selected, which is great. So I'm going to Command or Control C. Oh my goodness, even this is taking forever. I'm going to hide this layer. I'm going to do a new layer and then I'm going to paste what I just copied on this new layer. <laughs> so it looks like a lot of the gray did come through. It wasn't so comparatively. We have this and we have this. So it's a lot lighter, but it didn't just get what I wanted it to. It got a bunch of other stuff. So what I'm going to do now is go through with my eraser here and just erase a lot of this stuff I know I don't need. So the goal here is to minimize as much of that excess gray because I want to, because printer ink is expensive. And I want to save money. Alright, so I think I'm good with that. I know I am going to be printing out some gray, but it's not a lot. I've minimized a lot of it, and at this point I'm just excited to get moving, and I don't want to spend too much time getting it just right when this is just a really quick step. So, 
you kind of have to weigh out like is your time more valuable or is the ink more valuable okay so I have my enlarged print of my sketch and of course it's not perfect it, like you like you saw I didn't get all of it out so it's still got some like grays in there but that's not what matters as long as I can see the outline or the line work that's all I need all right you guys so I've got my print here and what I'm going to do now is flip it over and I have a graphite pencil and a sharpener because the next step is to basically just cover the surface in thick loose graphite and it might take a bit so I'm just gonna kind of go as fast as I can here and you can also do this with like a big piece of charcoal because that might actually be a little faster but this is what I got so it'll work just fine Alright, so our next step is going to be to the actually transfer. So I'm going to flip this over onto my surface. And I've kind of marked where I want it to line up by folding the edges here. But I'm going to take my same pencil and start going over the line work. Okay, I think I've covered just about everything. So in certain light, you can see that it's almost completely transferred. It's just so faint, it's hard for the camera to pick it up. Alright, so now I can flip it over and we can do a side-by-side -side comparison of the line work. Right? 